Alright, in this video we're going to look at solving three different inequalities by doing a little bit of addition or subtraction. And for this type of inequality, uh, again these are what are known as linear inequalities, um, we're going to solve these exactly as though they were equations. The only thing you really have to be careful about, um, if you multiply or divide by a negative number, we're going to have to flip the inequality. None of these examples will that happen, though, so it'll feel uh, like we're solving things, again, just the same way as though it were an equal sign. But again, the rules, you know, you still have to be a little careful. Okay, for this one, we have x minus 5 less than or equal to 2. Well, all, all we have to do is add 5 to both sides, and we'll be left with x on the left side. Uh, our less than or equal to sign stays there, and 2 plus 5 will give us 7. And now we have our solution. It says if we take any number that's less than or equal to 7 and we subtract 5 from that number, well, we'll get a number that's less than or equal to 2. Part B, exact same idea. Again, it doesn't matter at all that the x is on the right side. Well, I want to isolate the x. So since we have x plus 3, we can subtract 3 from both sides. 18 minus 3 is 15. We'll keep our greater than sign, x. So it says 15 has to be greater than x, or equivalently, x has to be less than 15. It says if we take any number that's less than 15 and we add 3 to it, we'll get something that's going to be smaller than 18. All right, one last example here, part C. All right, so there's some decimals here, but uh, that, again, doesn't change anything at all. So m plus 1.4 greater than or equal to 5.6. Since we're adding 1.4, I'm simply going to subtract 1.4 from both sides. We'll be left with m on the left side, our greater than or equal to sign. 5.6 minus 1.4 is going to give us 4.2. So it says our solution will be any number m that's greater than or equal to 4.2.